Imagine yourself being in her shoes. Life is, to some people, embarrassing. I think she's having a seizure. Humiliating. Dangerous. Because they have epilepsy. What you just saw now was three different seizures, all caused by the same thing. Too high, too long, and too rhythmic bioelectrical activity in the brain. In a brain scan, an EEG, brain waves normally oscillate arrhythmical with moderate amplitude. They must be heavily amplified to be captured at all. Each line in this EEG cut depicts the average cell activity in the immediate vicinity of a measuring point on the scalp standardized in the International 1020 system, which is this. When brain cells get too excited, they react like menses and coke. They burst out. In the EEG, it will show as an electrical brainstorm with rhythmic, rapid, high voltage trains of signals. Fortunately, the staff can reduce the sensitivity. All areas are affected, meaning that the person is unconscious. This pattern, spikes and waves, is the hallmark of epilepsy. But seizure activity is highly energy consuming and is mirrored in the size of the EEG activity. The brain functions at its best with a certain level of activity and higher levels can directly or indirectly damage it seriously. When an electrical malfunction occurs, the brain will immediately launch its own first aid procedure to protect itself. It will calm down and limit the damage. The brain disconnects, fully or partly, in order to stop the seizure. To ensure survival of the whole person in a fairly unharmed way, it can be necessary to deny the intellect control over the body. Injuries will heal, brain damage won't. After protection of all vital systems, the brain starts flooding itself with the chemicals designed to inhibit activity between cells, the inhibitory transmitters. That is why you, after the first violent movement activity, are able to see that the jerks fade away in a tonic-clonic seizure. The brain now restores the systems. This is best done in sleep. This doesn't mean that the person operates normally again when she wakes up. It can take a couple of days to fully recover from a non-complicated tonic-clonic seizure. However, once in the blue moon, seizures can be fatal. It's a small risk, but it is there. Hence we are, as patients, dependent on help from others if we have a seizure in public. It's really that easy. Thanks for helping.